Wentz in the gun. Wentz on second down. Fakes, looks, fires, complete. Touchdown, Alshon Jeffrey, 11 yards. Joining me this week here on Eagles Tape Study, head coach Doug Peterson. Coach, Hi. welcome back to Thank the show. You. Appreciate it. Before we take a look at the film, Coach, coming off a tough loss, what's the morale like in the locker room with the guys? Well, obviously disappointed. Um, felt like they gave a game away. You know, it's, it's tough when uh, you're sitting there with a 17-point lead, obviously, going into the fourth quarter and to have that kind of letdown. So the, the guys are, are really, really disappointed, and rightfully so, you know. And, and, and so they take ownership in that and, and pride in that, and they want to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And as we know, as you know, obviously, playing in this league, you got to play for 60 minutes. Yeah. you got to learn how to finish. And, and we just didn't do that and make enough plays in that fourth quarter to finish that game. Well, we know they're a resilient group, and they'll bounce back. All right, let's take a look at some of the plays from last week's game. Game, doing some good things down here in the red zone. Walk us through this uh, this touchdown to Alshon Jeffrey. Yeah, so something we had seen during the week. Our game plan going in was to, to motion our tight ends across the field just a little bit to try to get, you know, whether the safeties wanted to rock and roll or you get the backers to twist or anything like that. So it was a design play and we really wanted to isolate 17 over here on 24. Bradbury, good corner, young corner, matched Alshon all day. So it was a route that we wanted to make a double move back to the front pylon and then obviously come back on the backside with Ertz running a back end line route and then Nelly coming in on a short what we call a pirate route. So little play action pass to get the second level defenders to bite. Dallas comes in motion. You see the rock and roll of the safeties right there. And now we're still one on one outside is what we wanted. Nice little inside move, hard inside move. And then uh, a great throw by Carson right there to the front pylon for the touchdown. Yeah, those two seem to be hooking up just about every week, man, Carson and Alshon. Yeah, they're doing a great job. And that little play action pass, too, held those backers just enough, obviously, to get the ball out there to the flat. Now, I like this play design here, Coach. You guys had some success with the screen plays. But you're going to get a little motion going from Zach first, and then you get a little bit going with uh, Corey Clement here. What's that sort of design to do yeah. to the defense? Again, it's just to trick linebackers' eyes, quite yeah. frankly, to take the second-level defenders and get their eyes going on Corey, in this case, uh, with another motion. So it was a shift and a little quick motion to get the defense to kind of trick their eyes just a little bit, and then we're going to come back and throw the screen right here to our tight end. So good little shift there with Dallas, and then we got Corey on the quick motion. And then, again, you can see what happens with the pump fake with Carson right here. It gets Keekly, you know, it gets the nickel. What we want on the back side is really two guys to defend what are going to be three guys out in the route or out in protection with the offensive line. So exactly what you want there. Dallas does a great job of displacing the defensive end. Carson comes back, nice little dart throw. And now we've got three big offensive linemen down the field to really block two because we got Jordan here on the outside blocking the corner. Great play again to put us down. We had just had a penalty prior to that, so it backed us out. Now this is a great play, obviously well-executed play to put us back into the red zone and I think eventually kick the field goal. Tight ends big for you this past week. You had Dallas on that last play, and then here's a nice play design where you get Zach Ertz opened up going across the field. Yeah, again, with the jet motion right here by Nelly, uh, is something, again, to trick second-level defenders. We knew this is a one-high defense, meaning they were going to rock and roll and play post-safety, right, which is something we expected. We're going to put Alshon here on a high post, and then we're going to bring 86, Zach Ertz, again, on a, on a deep cross. And then here, and then we're going to inside zone play action fake to really, again, attract second level defenders. And then as we watch the tape go, you're going to see what ends up happening with our protection right here. So Nelly's going to come with a jet motion. Right now, we anticipate 54 coming off the edge, which he does. Our line does a great job. You see Lane displacing out to Shaq Thompson, and it frees up our back now to tie down the flat defender. So they made a call up front, pushed the protection out to the linebacker. Now we can get Wendell out to tie him down. And then here comes Zach wide open off the backside hash. Carson does a great job of finding him and just dotting him right in that nice little window right there for a big game. Small thing there most people won't notice. That ball placement is on the back shoulder to keep Zach safe. Exactly right. And, and that's something that Carson's been able to do now. The more he plays and sees defense, he's able to pull guys up, stop them in the hole, and that's just a great throw. Tape Study is brought to you by Chickies and Peace, proud partner of the Philadelphia Eagles.